Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is a Let's Play a Trails of Cold Steel 3 Part 30, 33? That sounds right. In the previous video, we finally finished Chapter 1. We confronted the evil mech of doom and, uh, you know, it was, it was a fun time. That's all I'll say. It was definitely a fun time. No salt whatsoever. Then we had some cool story stuff where Fee's dad shows up and he was who we thought we were. And, uh... All that. Also, minor correction. It was not two hours the game didn't let me save. It was actually only two, or it was not three. It was only two. For some reason, the playtime, I guess, is all messed up because of the fast forwarding. Because you can see the actual, like, local time of the save is 1241 for this one. And this is the end of chapter one, which is 241. So it was, like, two hours exactly. But playtime-wise, it was three hours. That's kind of interesting. I wonder how much our playtime... I mean, it shouldn't be inflated that much. Because we have about 30 hours of footage, because this is part 30 whatever, and each video is about approximately like a little under an hour on average, I would say. But, uh, yeah. don't think we've seen it yet. This is new Heimdall. That's maybe, uh, we, we recognize that crust. I think we do. It seems familiar. Okay, is this supposed to be, are we going to introduce the, uh, what was the name of the place? Astraya? Freya? Uh, really? Yeah, okay. Yes. We'll allocate a part of the donation to your tuition. I don't think you'll need to worry about anything through graduation. That's a big-ass desk. There's no way they would let a student principal... I mean, I assume she's like student council president, that's it. Um, have a desk that big. No way. I don't care what type of school you're at. Oh, thank you so much! I don't know how I could ever repay you, President Elise. This is all just part of my job as student council president. Besides, there are other students in the same situation as you. So don't worry about it at all, okay? Uh, Alright, thanks again. Oh goodness, I'm so relieved. I don't know what to do. I think my appetite even came back. <laughs> well then, would you care for some tea and cookies? Absolutely not, don't take them. I just recently received some as gifts. Did you? Did we send her cookies? I can't remember. We sent her something. Wow, are you sure? Oh, wow, I'm here. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh, God, no, no, just, just give me a few moments of reprieve. Um, so about your brother. Hmm? He's the Ashen Chevalier, isn't he? He's just a dashing hero. I've been a fan of his, you're gonna get your eyes clawed out. I've been a fan of his for so long. Is that so? Well, he doesn't seem to be very fond of being called a hero. Oh, but he is one. All the girls here admire him so much, but they've never met him. We still admire him. He, I've heard he's an instructor at some military academy. Isn't that right? What do you have any girls in his class? Oh, I'm so jealous. Weirdo. <laughs> oh, and is that one rumor true? That your brother and the princess? Please, are you here? Is, is like the outside of the hall underwater? Yes, please come in. Can you be somewhere else? Oh, I see you already have a guest. Oh, no, no, no. We just finished talking. Uh, have a nice day. I'll just excuse myself. I'd love to talk to you again sometime, President Elise. And their hair has gotten oh, dear. wild. Did I interrupt something? Please. We both know you did that on purpose. <laughs> Well, you seemed to be troubled when she mentioned Reen. You should have simply told her. That she's got an incest kink? Reen's special someone was already decided 14 years ago. Or something like that. That's actually, like, kind of disgusting. <laughs> she would have been, like, two years old. Ugh. Ugh, you're always saying such silly things. 
There are rumors going around about you as well, your highness. A secret rendezvous with the Ashen Chevalier in the Imperial Palace. Promises made for the Summer Festival, or something like that. We were just talking about you at the ceremony after the Northern War. And, um, I asked him for a bit of advice too, but... Gosh, you certainly have gotten tough, Elise. Since you took on the role of Student Council President, you don't crack nearly as easily. By this point, the students and teachers alike are relying on you. <laughs> well, since my brother's become so famous, I need to make sure to try my hardest too. But even so, there are times when I'm made aware of how little I can actually do. I'm aware of that all the time, personally. For example, I couldn't do a thing to help her. It was out of your hands to begin with. It wasn't a question of finances. Hmm. I hope she's doing well. Though it worries me that she hasn't replied yet. Indeed. In addition, the way the Vander family and poor Oliver have been treated lately? It's nothing but sad news. I heard there was an incident during the branch campus's field exercises. Reen was there, right? Yes, in Sutherland. It seems there were some suspicious things happening there. He sent me a message telling me to be careful. I see. How thoughtful of him. Compared to him, Cedric is... Uh, I haven't a clue. I mean, don't, don't, you don't have to dunk on Seti. Your Highness... Oh yes, I drifted off the main topic. In regards to that thing I mentioned before, do you think you would be available for it? No, you're legally, you can't leave the school. You have to stay in school forever. You're not allowed outside. Please leave me alone. Yes, the student council's projects will be finished on schedule. Oh. So I would love to join you. Oh. Oh, man, I forgot about the roar music. It's pretty good. I mean, it's no Zeiss, but it's not bad. Push the order for the new devices up on the schedule. If you need to, combine both versions in one shipment. Evaluate it by cost, usability, performance, and security. Uh, understood. The Railroad Corporation's operating system has been delivered, right? Yeah, they'll be testing it this weekend. Go and attend their tests. Make sure they understand the additional services we offer for it. How does this zipper work? You can't, because there's like a belt. And the belt's kind of like weird and in the way. <laughs> what is the belt? Oh, actually, what is the belt's function there? Because it's not really doing anything. It's just kind of, kind of there. Because it's obviously a form-fitting outfit, so the belt serves no purpose. It's it's literally it's just there to be in the way. This is Reinford. What is it? And there's like this other weird clip-on in the back of the belt. You have a call from the Crossbell Branch. Shall I connect them to your office? Oh yes, I'll be right there. That's it for the meeting. Thanks, everyone. Uh, yes. Ryanford, you guys designed that belt? <laughs> the general manager of Ryanford, she's something else. She's young, beautiful, smart, confident, caring. Uh, what do you expect from Chairman Irina's daughter? Uh, for her to be a bitch? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I mean, that, that was like a layup and a half right there. I could not take that. On top of that all, she still managed to be so cute, too. I feel sort of sorry for her with how busy she seems all the time. I wonder if she has a boyfriend. Uh... Hey, don't say that! Her heart belongs to all of us here. What? Don't be gross. But now I think, uh, wasn't there a classmate of hers? Thanks for waiting. It's good to speak with you again. Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm guessing that is that Tio? Is that supposed to be Tio? Can I, can I get a peek? I mean, I assume something technologically related. I could see her working with the Reinford branch and Crossbell. I received the operation report. 
It seems like the Argus too is working out well. Get his dear. Yes, thankfully. The master and subcourt system is working out especially nicely. On top of that, the long distance communication is even better than I expected. That kind of thing's a bit iffy without signal boosting facilities. Did RF set up a bunch or something? Well, actually, we used a little trick. I'll tell you about it the next time we meet in person. Outside work hours, if we can manage it. I see. I'll have something to talk with you about as well. I'll be looking forward to it, Miss General Manager Elisa Reinberg. Likewise, Chief Teo Plato. Phew, I'm happy to see her, but I need to do something about this never-ending schedule of mine. Pardon me, my lady. Uh... Oh, come in! I've brought you some tea and cookies. Oh dear, it's already three? Actually three in real life as well. Thanks, Sharon. Stay and have a cup with me. Oh, and for everyone out there, <laughs> I have already provided them with coffee and snacks. Speaking of it being three, I need to pause this video and set up today's oh, video in I a second. I feel alive again. Seriously, Sharon, your tea and snacks are like an oasis in the desert of my workday. My, my. It's good to work hard, but make sure you get proper rest, my lady. Why don't you just, like, be rich and retire? That's what most of them do. Just hire someone else to run the company for you. Perhaps you should call up the other members of Class 7 on occasion. I mean, you, you got, you're living in the, you, you won life's lottery at the age of one. Okay? You don't have to work hard. <laughs> Sorry for making you worry. <laughs> but it won't be that much longer before I get to see... Uh, oh my. I suppose I didn't need to mention it after all. Yes, yes, every single female character in the entire universe has the hot serene. We get it. Now that I think of it, you were speaking with Lady Fee and Lady Laura just the other day. Uh, if you already knew that, then why bother bringing it up? Ugh, whatever. What about you, though? I haven't seen you around lately. It seems like you've been busy helping Mother. Or does it have something to do with your past? <laughs> oh my, no. Of course not. The past is in the past. My love and loyalty will not change because of it. So please, do not worry. Something's off. Yeah, I'll say. She's being unusually kind and making me reminisce about... Oh, it's them! <laughs> Hello? You're free now, right? Yeah, I'm good. Work's going well, so no fires to put out right now. Alright, you two. Let's get started. Okay, so Machias and Emma might be our other, other two Class 7 members. And then Tia would be like our guest character. I'm guessing based on this setup. Yes, oh, that's right. Got a hat. I plan on leaving after I've taken care of some unfinished business here. Oh, she's in that monument. <laughs> I'll see you there then. If I had been a bit faster, we could have been able to meet here. <laughs> Just a little longer. Well, aren't you happy? You humans sure come up with some interesting ideas. How's that ribbon stay so pristine? I'm still enamored by it. Like using that communication artifact the prince had hidden away as a relay for your network. It seems like that bracer with all the tricks up his sleeve had something to do with it too. Bracer with all the tricks up his sleeve had something to do with it too. I guess they just mean Tovel? Yeah, Tovel, because Tovel helped out. <laughs> and don't forget all the support Elisa lent us too. 
It's thanks to all the help we get from so many different people. I mean, you could have just said Tovel. Like, I get being, like, vague if it's, like, someone we haven't been introduced yet. Just from, like, a storytelling perspective to, like, keep the audience on their toes. But, like, we know it was Tovel. And you know who Tovel is. Mm, I don't know about that. Our kin are supposed to be hidden away guarding our sacrament by ourselves. But anyway, seems like some weird things are starting to happen to him. Yeah, it was a weird demon lady. Not being able to come back out of his powered up form, that's not normal. Yes, I hope our spells are able to help him. But before that, we need to take care of this. This is the only shrine in this region. Give me a hand, Celine. Leave it to me, Emma. I mean, that kind of looked like the uh, the shrines you go into in CS2. Is that like a like it was hidden there or something? Like the outline there looked exactly like them. Oh, we're flying! Oh, we're flying! Oh, it's almost time for NPC talking again. I got my fill of combat. Now it's time to go back to... Oh, it's like Josette. Um, I got mine flooded there. You know, I got my fill of combat. Now it's time for some talking. And then when we're done with talking, then we'll get some more combat. Let's let the, let the gameplay loop there. Of uh, It reminds me a lot of like Persona 4, which has like really long combat sections and followed by long NPC talking sections. And it's like, as soon as you get tired of one, it's like, well, it's time to do the other. And like, even though they're, uh, like the, the pacing is like extended in that regard, I still just kind of, it always feels like as soon as I'm getting tired of combat, it's like, it's over. And then it's time to do talking. And then when I'm getting tired of talking, I got combat to look forward to. That's like one of the main benefits of playing with the difficulty mods is that since combat's so much more interesting, it's a lot harder to get burnt out on the... The talking and stuff because the combat lasts longer and it's more like I'm looking forward to it more as opposed to just being something that's just kind of like y you win automatically or without too much effort I didn't read that dialogue at all this is something like we came back from Sutherland oh they're Tennyson Due to the budgetary restrictions, the branch campus wasn't planning to offer clubs. However, Principal Aurelia used her own funds to personally finance the supplies for them, forcing the students to fail to join a club. <laughs> ah, yes, the Cheshire defense. Of course, Kurt, you would use that one. I love that Ash, like, forces his way into the literature club. <laughs> the Branch Campus Club activities are for demonstrating your composure as citizens of the Empire. They can really use those words to hearts, the students look to join clubs that would allow them to diversify their talents. Though their lives were busy, they made time to meet and talk with one another, refreshing and raising each other's spirits. What about the music club? What about the dang old music club? And then as Lenora jumps in, Clam Slayers just grabs her and yeets her back. <laughs> I guess Tita joined the... Oh yeah, I think they, they at least established she was in the cooking club. That seems familiar. Maybe? Oh my god. It's nice for carving up. Humans. I mean, bugs. Oh, they're jamming. They're not really, they're not really that jamming. It was really just a uh, chickadee was playing. There were also some changes to the staff. Oh, hello.
Thanks to Marcus Himes, their butler Celestine was sent to help the branch campus out as a temporary staff member. He was put in charge of miscellaneous chores and managing the dormitory. Well, that's neat. Ah, so that's probably where some of our rooms are going to start getting filled up. And then Mint's here for... Also, Mint, a graduate of Thor's, was appointed as an assistant mechanic. He helped paint the Panzer Soldats that were assigned to the branch campus. Three Panzer Soldats were destroyed during this endeavor. <laughs> Gender divided lessons? Oh god. Is he just... Okay, it's cooking? Yep, because everyone knows men never need to eat. <laughs> All right, ladies. Let's make sure we follow the recipe. The right ingredients and the right timing are both crucial to making sweets. If you know your way around a kitchen, then I welcome you to help beginners. Yes! Whiskey and furiously? Wow, you're good at this. I'm impressed. Well, you weren't lying about cooking at home, but yeah, because she lived alone for a long... Well, not really lived alone, but, you know, he cooked for old Russell, who was not cooking a damn thing for himself. My parents are always out, so I had to cook for myself. Can't make it taste professional grade like Sandy, but... No, no, you're still very good. I learned a few skills from my mom. Though you say that, your hand looks pretty steady. You know, I suspect you possess some unexpectedly high cooking skills. What do you mean, unexpectedly? Allie, you're spilling! Oh, sorry. I can't lose. I need to make something nice for Instructor Re- Uh... You're... Uh, Musa, are you a fan of Instructor Reen? Of course I am. I'm so jealous of you and Altina. Yeah, but like, are you? Because like, I, I mean, if she was like a normal student, it probably wouldn't annoy me as much. Because I, like, I mean, I think I said this earlier, but like, it seems fairly realistic for a student to have a crush on Reen, considering he's like famous and shit, and he's not that much older. So it's not as weird. And plus, it's it's different for a student to have a crush on a teacher than a, a teacher to have a crush on a student, you know? I'm sure a lot of people look up to him. I just hope that at the very least I can always be in the back of his mind. Uh, I see. I mean, he is somewhat of a celebrity. His popularity shouldn't be surprising. However, I haven't really heard any stories about him with any ladies. He seemed quite intimate with people of all class 7, though. The ones who saved us at the field exercise? You mean Miss Laura of the Arsades family and Miss Fee of the Bracers? There seems to be more too, I'm really curious. He's really close with the super cool Laura and the super cute Fee. Not to mention Elliot, he's cute too! <laughs> the ponytail! No one can resist the ponytail! Please calm down, Yuna. Oh, that's nice too, a girl's mind loves to wander! I don't even know what's going on here anymore. It's, 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 don't... stay innocent, Tita. Are you talking about Instructor Reen? Oh god. He's really handsome, but the school's got a lot has a lot of handsome people. Yeah, Instructor Randolph is good looking, and Instructor Michael would be handsome if he wasn't so annoying. The boys are pretty cute too. Kurt's a pretty boy and Ash is a bad boy. Yeah, Kurt's pretty and it should be illegal. He's prettier than the girls. <laughs> Kyrie is acceptable since he's just as cute. Ash is kinda scary. We're gonna analyze the other. Stark is the intelligent type, and Gustav is the strong silent type. Wayne is a stubborn type, Pablo is a joker, and Freddy's the mysterious outsider. Would you say Sydney is an unfortunate handsome type? Sydney's just doomed for all eternity type. That's a little too rude, don't you think? Hey, we're in the middle of a cooking class right now. Save the discussion for after class. Don't make toe without the gun. So, what is your relationship with Instructor Reen Toa? Uh, huh? I was wondering that too. Oh, it's Tita in the red-haired bracer. Uh, he's nice too. He's just my type. I heard that he is also pretty close to the Imperial Princess. Oh, I heard those rumors too. But personally, I've been more focused on her brother, the Prince. Oh, me too. He's so mature. Is he? Uh, everyone be quiet. This is total chaos. You say you did this on purpose, didn't you? What are you talking about? Yes, because everyone knows women can't use computers. God. <laughs> that concludes the overview. All right, we're going to pause here for a second uh, as I set up today's video and probably get something to eat. Be right back. All right, we're back, and I forgot to change the hotkey for uh, the auto 
advanced stuff, so hitting Alt-Tab caused the text to advance a little bit. Uh, basically, the professor just uh, told everybody to work and then left. Who just fucking walked out. The rest of your time will be self-study. I was given a task program from the foundation that even a monkey could understand. And then my dude just walked out. Um, seriously? If you don't understand something, I'll help you out. But try and figure out as much as you can on your own. Because everyone knows men innately know how to use computers. Because computers are a very manly thing, of course. They were evolutionarily designed to work on computers. I bet the girls are having fun making sweets right now. Oh, the lads are making us sell some curry next period. Nothing for it. Anyway, let's get started. Hmm. Uh, maybe we can do this? This is way harder than piloting a Panzer Soldat. Another loop. I don't think it'll work this time. I think I'm getting it. Oh, this is kind of interesting. What the heck, Kurt? How are you solving everything so easily? Hey, isn't this your first time doing this? It's reminiscent of sword playing chess. What? I'll demonstrate the basic idea to you both. Once you understand the first part, it should be simple. Hi, right, cheers! Now let's give it another go. Uh, so he's good looking and smart. And then you know Ash is just back there browsing illegal websites on the Orville net. Looks like everyone's doing okay now. But the latter questions might get them some trouble. Ash? Ash, let's team up. Even though we're beginners, if we join forces... Shut up, look at a porn. Uh, this is stupid. Just a big waste of time. I'm out. Not your best or whatever. Hey, Ash! You are... Wow, instructor, look at this. All the questions are already solved. It's like he's some sort of janitor who saw a complicated math problem on the blackboard and came up and solved it on his own. What? No way. Hold on. I know these answers are correct, but this is easily a passing score. I wonder if he has experience with mobile computers. Ah, can I say I saw that one coming? I'm not that surprised. It's almost weird how good at, at it he is. You're kidding me! Not only is he a good-looking delinquent, he's smart too! Hey, now class is in still in session. Take your time and look over the problems carefully. If the second half seems difficult, feel free to ask me any questions. Okay. Let's do this. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, how do I learn to touch type? I bet it made me look cool. Ash Carbide. Good work, everyone. Things are pretty busy today. How'd the cooking class go for you two? <laughs> the thousand yard stare. Um... Hey Kurt, did I say something wrong? I, I don't know, it seems they had an exciting time in the class today, or however. It would appear you often encounter trouble with women. I advise you to give more care to your words. I guess it wasn't really his fault. So long as he's not aware, we shouldn't worry about it. Anyway, your club activities have started, so take care of yourself and make sure you don't train anything. Also, tomorrow's a free day. Hobbies, games, club activities, it's up to you to do whatever. However, keep in mind, early next week is Panzer Soldat training, and on the weekend we'll have our next set of field exercises. My word, time sure is flying. You don't know where we're going next, do you, Instructor? I don't know. Not yet, we'll be briefed on it tomorrow. What, what places were teased in field studies last in the first game, that is? There's Ortis. Ortis has been mentioned, we haven't gone there. Trying to remember. So they went Harm, St. Ark, Ortis, Jirai,
can't remember what uh, well Heimdall everyone went to Heimdall so that's up to chapter 5 and then for chapter 6 that's when we went to Roar and everyone else went to Jirai then so I'm missing one what other place did they go hmm I don't know Considering how the last one turned out, I'm not sure how things will go. Either way, make sure you're all well rested. Understood. Missions aside, I'm concerned about the society's actions. Yeah, you know, I got a bad feeling they're up to more of their schemes. By the way, if the government calls you again, will we be left behind like last time in Chartarine? Uh, yeah. Come to think of it, I cannot deny a lack of experience, but surely we can be trusted to assist you. Absolutely not. Kurt can come. To be perfectly honest, I did it for your safety. However, you have all been training and studying hard for two months now. No problem, promises, but if possible, I'd like you all to help out. Did you hear that? He totally promised! I will do my utmost. Would it be possible to schedule some additional training? I'll see what I can do. That concludes homeroom. Altina, please lead the class. Understood. Stand. Bow. So Mr. Michael's going to be back by noon tomorrow? Yes, it seems he's preparing the next location for our field exercises. He told me he'd be back in time for the briefing. The next location. Doesn't matter where it is, we just got to put our big boy trousers and march over out there like it's no sweat. I bet it really is no sweat for our principal. Well, she does wear the pants around here. Students did well during the last field exercises too. Randolph Toa, let's give it our all. Yes, of course, we need to take care of the club activities. Yeah, let's help him out, but don't smother him. Well then, I think I'll head home after making my rounds. I could check on the students. Maybe I could have talked with Mint or Celestine again. Society and the Archaisms. Maybe I should ask the principal and professor about them. You can now select characters not currently in your party when cooking! Oh, that's... Finally! The, te the technology is finally here! Dress shirts for everyone and an attachment item for Altina. Okay. Costumes relevant to the scene will be shown. Even if a costume item is equipped. Cool. Green got a message. I don't... I don't... I remember how to check that. From Million. Thanks for the cute purse. The purse you sent us from Parm, right? I love it. It's cute. It holds all my stuff and it's super awesome. Thank you so, 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 so much, Reen. Good. I'm glad she likes it. Wish I had new records to give her. Oh, okay. I don't know. You, we got anything here? What was that thing we got? Did we get something from Vivi, I remember? Okay. Um, so wait, didn't we get that? So is that record translated? Okay, it... Okay, so this is new. Um, I do want to read it, but... I need to pause, because it's like, the heat won't turn off, and I need to turn it off manually, so be right back. Alright, after a longer delay than intended, we are uh, back. Also, the controller has disconnected because it's been longer than it should have been. Okie dokie, uh, we are supposed to be talking to people and talking to people and talking to more people. What are we doing here, Kyrie? Alright then, work hard, but don't hesitate to ask for help when you need it, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Hmm. Hey, you two, what's going on? Uh, hello there, Reen. I was just telling Kyrie he's going to be in charge of the medical office now. Until we have someone to officially take over anyway, Principal Le Guin said it would be good training for him. Oh, she did. Now yeah, think of it, Kyrie did do a great job as leader of the medical team during our field exercises. Yes, he certainly did. But keep in mind, you still need to prioritize your classes and club activities over this. Be sure not to pinch yourself too hard, okay? Uh, okay, I mean, uh, y y yes ma'am. I feel like this might be too much for me, but I'll do all I can. Director Reen, if you need anything, please let me know. 
I'm just glad we have so many capable, wonderful students. Alright, since you're right here, I'll talk to your Principal Laguini. Now that the clubs have been found, the school seems to be finally coming together. We will arrange for their equipment, but for the most part, the students running will be responsible for running the clubs themselves. Be sure to guide these students to clubs that will enrich their stay here, not simply kill time. Certainly, to be honest, I'm a little surprised. I wouldn't have expected you to be so gung-ho about the student clubs. Well, I too am a graduate of Thor's. I feel it's my duty to carry on Thor's philosophy here at the branch campus. Thus, it makes perfect sense for us to have a flourishing group of clubs, now. It definitely seems like a good change of pace for the students. Their lives were in danger just the other day, but you wouldn't know that from looking at them now. W was that part of your plan? You can interpret it however you like, but our fledgling should now be a well, aware of the true meaning of the phrase, be ever vigilant as though the world is a battlefield. It should be clear to any who lay eyes on Drek'nor Fortress. Yeah. Danger is ever present in this world of ours. We must live every day as though we're on the battlefield. To that end, we should treat the club activities as yet another form of training. Be ever vigilant, Ashen Chevalier. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, lady. Not only as the instructor for Class 7, but as an instructor of the branch campus? Well said. Oh, one more thing. I made arrangements for the matter we spoke of before. It should arrive tomorrow. Do look forward to it. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, about helping the town smoke out. Oh, yeah, that. Understood, I'll do my best. So we got our own mailbox? Look after our fledglings and that other matter we discussed. You may find work tougher than your ordinary lessons, but try and approach this with a fresh mindset. I don't wanna. Also, can it really be a fresh mindset if we're just doing the same thing we've done in the last two games? Hmm, you ever think about that, Principal Laguini? Hmm, let's take a look. Oh, Celestin, what are you up to? Good day, Master Reen. I'm just fixing up some of the terminals. I defragged them, so they should operate more efficiently now. You know how to handle over computers, too. <laughs> what can't you do? Thanks again for coming here to help us out. Managing our dorms, doing maintenance on our computers? I don't know what we'd have done without you. It's an honor to be of assistance. As I was sitting here by my lord, I'm simply performing my job. As though this is a... Although, though this is the branch camp, as it still has the same pleasant atmosphere I associate with Thor's. Why, it even brings back fond memories of my time helping out with the upper class dorm. That's so, uh, happy to hear it. It's been a while since I've been able to reach Patrick. I suppose he's swamped with work, though. <laughs> he doesn't work. He's rich! Indeed, I'm told he's extremely busy with his duties to the Marquee. Uh, it's all thanks to you and your classmates. It's safe to say that he would not have grown half as much without your influence. Considering that, helping out here is just my way of repaying my debt of gratitude. Thanks, Sellison, really. Oh yeah, also, I spoke with the principal. You've been processing all the help requests we've gotten in, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, that is correct. I was told this is Lady Toa's job back when she was a student. I shall finish compiling them tonight, and please wait until then. Sure thing. See you tomorrow, Sellison. Yes, likewise. Hey, what is the name of this chapter? Conflict and Crossbell. I remember seeing that, but like I kind of forgot. Conflict and Crossbell, eh? Food at the dorms has really gotten a lot more upscale since ever since Celestin arrived. What are we doing here? Things are finally ramping up tomorrow! Hey, that's the lads and ladettes. I gather you're here today for an important discussion. That is to say, what are you going to handle the vocals? The vocals, huh? I hadn't thought about that. Hey, can I blame anyone for wanting to be the face of the band or no? I said, this has to be decided on pure skill. So let's get started with some audio. I'll pass. Me too, I'm not much of a singer. Ah! Wait, both of you are passing. I'm the only one left then. Lively as usual, I see. Anyway, I'm glad the club is all set up now. Bobbles on vocals, huh? Our band's sure gonna make a lot of noise. I can I say this is how I envision things, but oh well. Doing bass and vocals isn't gonna be easy, but bring it on. Well, whatever. I don't really have a stake in this either way. Is that? I thought I saw a spark move. I think it was just the lamp. I choose you, Clubhouse. 
Man, even with a handicap wasn't enough. I guess there's no way a beginner like me could beat you, huh, Kurt? To be honest, I'm surprised by how well you played. You seem to be a fast learner. Two, I might have a good practice runner for come before too much longer. I mean, he moved two pawns. Whoa, for real? I guess I'm just naturally talented or something. Actually, yeah, yeah, he just moved two pawns. That's it. And his knights. Keep in mind that my skills are intermediate at best. There are far better players than I. If we want to enter tournaments, we've got a lot of practice ahead of us. Tournaments, huh? Maybe if I win a few, the babes will start to notice me. Yes, all those, uh, famous chess chads out there. Let's hit the town to pick up some chicks. Our club hours aren't over yet. We can't just call it a day. Your chess skills can be honed through research, playing matches, and practicing reading your opponents. If you want to get better, you'll need to put in a lot more work, Sydney. I am not saying there's none out there, but... You know, you might have better luck with another sport. <laughs> if that's your sole goal. Kurt's a lot more into chess than I thought he'd be. Why did I decide to join this club again? Because you can't join the Vantage Masters Club because we stole your cards? Haha! <laughs> Glad to see that Sydney picks things up fast. At this rate, chess club might actually stand a chance in competitions. Wow, Ash actually came by to meet for club, and he's so serious about it too. Those are some pretty complicated books he's reading. I'm honestly pretty surprised. He and Ash alone together. Oh no, what if I make him angry? Overthinking might be your enemy on this one. What are we reading? Uh, How to Overthrow the Government, Assassination 101. <laughs> what are you looking at? Is it weird to see me reading? Honestly, it is. You could just try and hide your surprise. If the book's good, I'll read it. If it's not, I won't. That's all there is to it. If I can take care of my club requirement while I do that, it's two birds, one stone as far as I'm concerned. Well, I guess that makes sense. If you get it, then scram. Hard to contact you getting in my face. Sorry about that. Enjoy your books. The pain in the ass, I gotta put together my notes in this book once I'm done. If you're done here, then scram. Hey. Okay. Look forward to you joining the party later in the chapter. See ya. Your fate is already sealed. You have no choice. You will become Reen's, uh, subordinate, pupil, disciple, whatever word you want to use. That's the basis on breathing and using your arms while swimming. How about giving it a shot, Allie? Should be enough for me to learn simply by watching. Uh, if you've learned it, then now it's time to try it out. Hop on in, I'll teach you the basics. Uh, Lenora is so meddlesome. I wouldn't mind if she just left me alone. Apparently Allie needs to think things through before actually doing something. I'm not saying that's bad, but it would be nice for her to act on instinct from time to time. I'm trying so hard, but why am I still failing? Didn't I do enough weight training? Lane's pushing himself way too hard. He needs to be more flexible about this. Okay, take me to the cafeteria. Oh. Oh, Major. Oh, you have some cards for me? Oh, Major Irvian, I thought you left. Well, I needed to get more materials, so I came back to gather them up. But all the train times are rather inconvenient. With efficiency in mind, I decided to leave after eating dinner. I see. But unfortunately, I have some free time. Sorja, would you like to play Vantage Masters with me? Vantage Masters? Sure, but... I didn't know you played Major Irving. If it were just a simple game, I wouldn't, but... Vantage Masters is a game of strategy and has a good reputation within the RNP. I thought perhaps you could use it to teach the students strategy, but so I got my own set of cards recently. I see, you really put some thought into this. I'd be honored to play against you. Had I left on schedule, I wouldn't have had this free time. I guess it turned out to be a good break for me. Alright then, I don't mind a game. Is it as time as the kids say to do da 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 duel? <laughs> okay, we have we have the penguin of doom now. I wanna drop anything. I could drop you for a doom penguin. Restores 3 HP of the target, remove seal. Now restore, that doesn't mean that it increases your, your max HP, right? And then transmute. Your master is the witch, the enemy is sealed for 3 turns instead. Seems kind of like... 
I'm meh. I'm meh. Let us begin. I mean, I do like me a Gun Lady EX. Okay, I don't like two of them. What's your skill again? Remove seal from the target? Okay, well, we can get our Gun Ladies out next turn. Or one gun lady singular. No, you fool. Okay, the, uh, that's not around. That's not. I thought that was all three of our gun ladies. All right. Momentum's gonna be a little low here. I kind of like buffing the the master card. To do this, that kills you. Wait, can you kill? Yeah, you do that. Some free and easy damage there. And then we're done. Take you out. And you can attack first turn. And then you. Okay, it's over. I'm sorry. You've lost. Our Bork. I mean, you do have the two magic crystals, but I think that's. I think you're too far behind. If we get a blaze, it's all over. Oh. That's new. I guess you got a shield. I wonder if that's just like one instance of like complete damage negation or how does this work? Let's pop it. See what happens. Okay, so it did, just seems like it negated the damage the one time. I don't know why he's not picking up his magic crystals. Okay, so if we get a blaze next turn, I think we win. I guess you can stay. Oh, there's no... I mean, just go ahead and... I guess you can stay there. If she wants to... If they want to waste an attack on you, that's fine. Supplies are important in war. Yeah, you know what's even more important? Fucking radios, dumbass. And you do seven damage counterattack? Well, thankfully, I don't have to worry about that. Are you dead? I think you're dead? Yeah, you're dead. Impressive. No, you're just bad. Had a left on schedule. No, the three times. Okay, you're not gonna say anything about getting your ass beat. All right, I see how it is. I wouldn't want to talk about it either if I was you. Hello, Instructor Ring. Classes and club activities have started, and everyone seems really busy. Yeah, it feels like the season of stress is upon them. I always have to keep an extra sharp eye on them as an instructor. That's reassuring to hear. Just make sure not to overexert yourself either, okay? I'll try. Thanks. I think we've been everywhere? Rooftop, vegetable garden, or like everywhere in the main building? There's still the school store that hasn't opened. Oh, it says Muse's in the cafeteria, but I didn't see her. Oh, she's up here. Okay. Oh, she's over here. 
I'll bring the ceremonial teacup tomorrow. Got it, thanks. Is this for your tea ceremony club? That's right, I was sent a rare teacup from home, so I plan on using it for a club tomorrow. It's a vintage teacup from the East, specifically made for tea ceremonies. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm glad to see you're taking your club seriously. I hope it'll continue to teach you guys about Eastern culture. Yes, yeah, so do I. Me too. A ceremonial teacup. I'm excited to see it. I mean, it's just gonna look like a regular teacup, but like pretty. I'll be ever so grateful if you were to visit us at club tomorrow, Instructor. I can show you the ceremonial teacup I mentioned then, if you'd like. Running, running, running. How about we practice a rally first? Uh, we're not just going to start playing a match? You know, there's a proper order of these things. We may have practice a bit, but we're still beginners. Yeah, that's right. I understand wanting to just dive right in, you know. But if you two are okay with it, we can have a match right now. Heck yeah, bring it on! What did I just say? Fine, I admit I'm a little interested myself. So they started a tennis club, huh? They've already got their gear. I am not little of Elisa's lacrosse club. It's different, okay? It's completely different. I don't know how good you are yet, Luis, but I'd like to think I'm pretty good at sports. Alright, I'm pumped. Let's get this thing started. I don't know how to say this, but Yuna is really fearless. It's really exciting having her around. Ah, uh, Yuna, you're so into it. I need, I'll need to keep up with her. Okay, we're almost at the end of the video, but uh, I'm not quite ready to end it yet, but I do need to pause for another couple seconds. Be right back. All right, we have returned once again from the mini pauses of this video. Um, trying to at least finish talking to everybody in Thor's. Okay, maybe a little bit more than that because there's not that much left. Well, I guess we still have the valley. We're talking to people. I guess it's not technically Valmart's Mart's talking to the professor in them, but. Oh, on the prowl for some fresh meat? <laughs> I got so was a tree around here with edible bark. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be feasting on the academy trees. That's vandalism. Oh, there's some nice, juicy cicadas. Yeah, cicadas. Too bad they're not in season. That's a unique way of looking at it. Wait, does he eat cicadas too? You looking for ingredients? Uh, let me know if you end up finding anything. Uh, uh. Help. I planted the seedlings you gave me during the field exercises. I was able to harvest them, so let me share them with you. 30 fresh herbs. I mean, it's literally like not that much. It's like a few hundred Miro, but... Oh, these look good. Thank you. This is really helpful. You're welcome. We got chickens. Can I harass the chickens for a fresh egg? No? Lame. The sand ring. Estelle would have, been able, would have been able to get some eggs out of those chickens, but I guess you're just not on that level yet. It's okay. It's okay. You got room to grow. I guess. Where's the student store still not open? Hmm. Hmm. Really makes you think. Really makes you think. Yeah, we can't go to leave, so. Usually you can't go to the main town on the day before free days, so. Mint's so much fun. She's really brightened up the atmosphere in here. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that. Try and keep her out of trouble, okay? You got it. I'll help. Oh, we got, we got new stuff. Do we finally have spells that aren't complete ass? Blue Ascension. That's, a, that's an old name. I haven't cast that in a long time. They used to be single target, right? It was like one of the stronger single target water spells, I think. In the Sky games. Oh, we have tier all now. Oh, it's so fucking expensive. Athelus? That also be nice. Especially, I mean, do we... Uh, that reminds Thanks. me. So do we have access to everyone else's Master Quartz? No. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we got to keep... No. We got to keep Cannon. And we got to keep Regalius. Okay, so we got to keep some of them. I guess all of them. We didn't get to keep agates, of course. But yeah, I guess that's it. How are we going to set this up? I mean, I think you get to keep Scald because you're our best character right now still.
And then we still don't have a caster. I mean, cannon, I don't know. It's not, I mean, it's good and it's also kind of trash. It depends. Man, kind of like that, that, and then you could have, I mean, Oberon is nice. Especially as like a like a sub quartz, it's always kind of like it's one of its biggest problems, uh, at least in my mind, is that uh, there's not that many fights where there's so many statuses that you can't just ignore them with like an accessory or two. Like th that was one thing that Oberon was really good for in the Shirley, whatever fight, was that a you could have it on two characters and. Uh, there's so many statuses you couldn't uh, protect against. And usually I just didn't like losing a, a Master Quartz for them. Just because it's not a very like interesting Master Quartz, like just protection against status ailments is a little boring and it's just weaker than most of the others like directly. It's essentially you're trading like strength for comfort, which is fine, but it does make it a lot more usable as a sub quartz, though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, really, none of these others. I mean, Scald would probably be the main that I would think is kind of good. But granted, Reen, the way we use Reen, he's not really at max HP that often. But I think Regulus is just straight up better than Brigand. And what we, what we could do, we could give you Zephyr as your main and Regulus as your secondary. What's the difference in stats? They're 338, 435, 6. You lose like 100 HP, 5 strength, but you gain 2 speed with Zephyr. I kind of like this. Because Reen's decently speedy. And then you, I have no clue. Granted, I do like Oberon. I definitely want Oberon on someone. Especially for now, while our Master Quartz aren't that good. I think you take Brigand with an Oberon secondary. And I guess you can take D.Va? I don't know, we'll worry about setting you up more after that. Like, maybe after this video? Okay, like, we do have to talk to Valley. Just like that. How you like that, Val? It feels as though I have a greater range of movement in my shoulder. I know right, way to go me! Man, what are you doing here? Oh! Hey, Reen! Don't fall. Look out! Okay, I was like, that's actually gonna like actually hurt her. Okay, Valmar caught her. Owie! Uh huh? She just said Al before you even got hurt. Are you unharmed? Al? <laughs> I'm just fine, thanks. Nice one, Valmar. You need to be careful. Dude, my heart skipped a beat there. Uh, sorry, now that I'm an engineer, I can appreciate just how cool you really are, Val. I was working on the crate, just always wanted to do maintenance on you. Back then, Clara took care of everything. Ah, oh, the silent Meister, I remember her. <laughs> Meister. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming, Mints. I have to say, I'm surprised to see you after our last field exercise. Oh, I just thought it might be good training for me. Not to mention, I want to be a reliable role model for the underclassmen. Well, I would have been asking too much of Tita with all the work she has to do. Thanks, Mint. We could really use your help around here. Thank you, new Meister candidate. Ah, uh, you guys, I don't know what the hell that means, but glad to be here to help both of you. You gonna make stuff for us? Just leave Val and the Panzer Soldats to my capable hands. You can count on me, Reen. I already do. Uh, thank you, Matt. Oh, by the way, Rosin and Monk are here in Leaves, aren't they? This really is the last place I thought I'd see them again. Wow, you ran into them? Yeah, we chatted a little bit. Uh, she's a sister now and Monk's a director. They're impressive, but I won't let them show me up. I gotta work extra hard now. Really is inspiring to see our former classmates succeed. 
But I don't want to let them show me up, so I gotta work even harder than they do. In fact, I'm already thinking of all sorts of upgrades for Val and the Panzer Soldats. Just wait, Reen. You're gonna be blown away. Okay. The new Meister candidate. Mint, was it? She may be clumsy at times, but she is talented. Most importantly, she has a great personality. She's the type of person who could lighten up the mood of any group. <laughs> That's for sure. Is this the part where we tease Valmar about having a crush on Mint because he showed yes! any sort of positive interaction to someone of the opposite sex? Isn't that how this works? Thanks. I'll help. I mean, Valmar's like a few thousand years old, right? He'd probably be a pedophile if he had the hots or someone. <laughs> I think, I think technically, you'd have to consider it that. I don't know what I'm saying. Give me this. I don't want it, but I Thanks. want it. Shut up, Tita. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Get me out of this bit, sir. Hmm, I see. Professor, is this? It's a piece of the giant Aeon that appeared in Subund. Had the RMP bring me everything they were able to collect. I mean, told them they shouldn't bother me with this, but who is he to decide? Must have really forced them. So, what were your findings? Hmm, I can't do an accurate analysis with a piece this small. I can say for one thing, from an engineering standpoint, that Aeon moves strangely. Strangely? I only developed by the society. They said it out loud, but I was not paying attention. Kurdoglion? 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 It's a much superior material than the special steel used for the Panzer Soldats. And according to my testing, it's nowhere close to being strong enough to support a big body. Oh, and the fact that it blocked a blade made of Sumerian ore. Ultimately, it got through, but yes. We're in the Valmar, some kind of power is moving that machine. Very well. If we're lucky, we may even meet the conditions to start it up. Yeah, that is interesting. Well, the experiment's over, so whatever. What do they mean by that anyway? It's like maybe they needed like an ambient energy or something in the environment to power it? I like having a bunch of strong people there. I'll research as much as I can with a small sample. You should go home today and make sure to keep up your health. That way we'll be able to get good data from the test. Test at the keep. Are we doing it tomorrow? Of course, I've already decided it's a mandatory request. I've already counted the students or participants as you requested. Understood. Thank you, Professor Schmidt. Hmm. Now go on, I'm busy. Busy doing what? I'm busy! Mint was it? I expect there to be more useful considering she is Markarov's niece, but skill and knowledge aside, her carelessness is absolutely inexcusable. Not to be just use all my data without consulting me. She's never once apologized for her congressions. Unbelievable. Fed the pot to the kettle. Looks like even Professor Smith isn't immune to the wrath of Mint's clumsiness. Get him, Mint. Mint sure has livened things up around here. Anyway, straight at the keep. I have to be extra careful having Yuna and Kurt with me. Oh. Uh. That'd not be our coin. Fifty mirror coin. Hey there! Didn't realize you were in here. Hey there, first year. Which hand is the coin in? Left or right? You didn't even pretend to fool me, okay? Caught that shit on crap. Oh. Oh. Well, did I surprise you? Sorry about that. Thanks for picking it up. He really wanted some juice coffee? Oh, here. Yeah, I'm gonna get some coffee and I dropped my change on the floor. No surprise to see how common orbital vending machines have become already. I think they're only common here at the branch campus. Could be anyway, gotta go run some errands. See you later. Do you need something from me? I want to talk to you about something. Wow. I'm trying to think of it. They're kind of similar. Is it about getting his weapon ready again? I shouldn't bother him. Better get going. I've checked everywhere I need to do. I'll leave for the main guild once I've finished all my business here. Come on, Randy. Come on, break, break out the old weapon. Hmm, I don't mind. This is really useful. It's not good to eavesdrop. Better get moving. Come on, Randy. Unleash the beast, man. 
You haven't you haven't gotten your chance to show anyone who didn't play a zero zero that you're strong. Because so far Randy hasn't done anything in this game. Okay, so I think we're done here, right? Let's do one last check. I go to the keep? Or is there anything here, I guess we should say? I mean, I guess we can go and, like, grind if you wanted to, like the old schoolhouse. We're gonna do more for, like, grind for, like, materials or whatever, but... Because the XP's gonna be pretty trash at this point in the game, but... Alrighty. Yeah, we're, like, well over an hour, by the way. So, we should definitely uh, call it here. Next time, we will head back to Leaves, do our midnight wrap-up, and then get ready for our second free day. I'm ExtraTreezy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.